Hello everyone, welcome back. This is third or fourth attempt to shoot this video. Hopefully we can get it done this time. But, I've been doing evening chores. It's dark, uh, not a whole lot going on other than just our basic chores, feeding, getting wood in, etc., etc., etc. But, tonight's video is about a subject that uh, I hope you find interesting. It's, uh, you may or may not know my off-farm job, my full-time job. I work with in the farming industry. And it appears we're under a winter weather advisory for tonight. Uh, so, I see a lot of farmers. But now, before we go any further, I am not an expert. Uh, I can only speak to things that I have seen or I have observed or things I've done myself. So, uh, but what I'm gonna talk to you about is a lot of the mistakes that I see small farmers make, whether they're beginning farmers or just pitfalls of farming in general as it pertains to a small farmer. Uh, and trust me, I've made a lot of them myself. Uh, I screw up yearly, weekly, monthly, daily, hourly, <laughs> trust me. Uh, I've uh, I've messed enough up, you know, myself. So, number one, and th th this is just some thoughts I had today, and I thought, what the heck, I'll make a video about it. Uh, one thing that I see a lot of farmers, and this is farmers in general, not necessarily small farmers or vegetable farmers or cattle farmers or Christmas tree farmers or nursery people, is they farm above their means. And what I mean by that is, uh, they, nobody seems to want to work their way up. So what they'll do is, okay, I'm gonna start farming. Let's say I'm gonna start farming. And I look at farmer Joe down the road and I say, well, that's the way he does it. That's the way I'm gonna start out. Farmer Joe's been doing that for 30 years and that is the result of 30 years of work uh, the way he does his operation. Now, you know, Farmer Joe's got three relatively new John Deere tractors. He's got a new uh, truck and equipment trailer. He's got pretty new equipment. But like I said, Farmer Joe has worked 30, 40, 50 years to get to that point. Uh, I remember Farmer Joe 30 years ago when he didn't have that stuff uh, when he started out. So a lot of times people will look at that and say, well, that's where I want to start. Well, of course you do. <laughs> that's where we all want to start. But um, that, that they don't want to put the work in to build themselves up to that. That is one of the big ones. And the way they do that is they go borrow the money and they buy those three new John Deere tractors and they buy that new dually truck and they buy that new equipment and, and they, they take on so much debt that one little hiccup one bad season and they're they're ruined uh they're bankrupt uh, you don't you don't want to do that another one is lack of planning uh, what what they'll do, what you'll see is you'll see christmas tree farmers and I'm just using examples. I'm not, I'm just using examples. Uh, cattlemen, produce farmers, uh, fruit farmers, and, and that they, they're constantly chasing the unicorn. In other words, okay, produce was bad this year. I'm gonna scratch produce next year and go into the apple orchard business because that's what's booming right now or I'm gonna scratch the apples and go into Christmas trees, or I'm gonna scrap row crops and go into livestock. On a farm, if, if, you, if, you're, if you're doing one thing that you know, keep doing it. You know, you're gonna have peaks and valleys in markets and production and everything, but, but keep doing that. But if you're looking, you know, maybe I want to transition, and we'll, I'll use me as an example. I grow produce. 
I'm a former tobacco grower. Now, when I went into produce, I started with strawberries. Grew them for a little while, then got into some cabbage and brassicas and sweet corn and this, that, and the other. And uh, right on and on and on. But now I'm still growing produce. I've got a small apple orchard. Um, this year we bought two cows. Two. Well, four. We bought four cows. We bought four cows. Um, added to it. Last year I set out 100 Christmas trees. Very small steps. Now I'm going to set out a few more Christmas trees and I may buy a few more cows. But I'm still doing produce. Uh, so I'm adding and I'm expanding the farm and kind of if it's a good year in cattle or a bad year in cattle or a good year in Christmas trees or a bad year in Christmas trees good year in apples, bad year in apples or good year in the produce it all kind of balances out and uh, but I see them chasing doing a lot of chasing uh, and not just like that like a produce farmer if say tomatoes were real high last year everybody and their brother will set out tomatoes this year the price goes whoop next year it's something else you know and, and they begin to chase uh, that that's two of the big mistakes I see uh, the third one is kind of get in a groove do what you do good find what you enjoy growing and something that you can do well and do it uh, <clears throat> yeah it may not be the high profit margin stuff but if you're good at it you can probably make a living at it or make a go at it <coughs> I have coughed for two months goodness gracious but uh, that's just some thoughts um, I have found myself chasing stuff like that before and there's been a time or two where you know I get on the internet and get to hunting equipment and next thing you know I'm carrying a little more debt than I want to but uh, basically if you're going to farm you, you need to look at those things and, and be be cautious of those things um uh, you know, if, if you stick with it, and you got to look at the long term, the big picture, uh, it takes a lot to get a farm up and going. I mean, I've been farming for, I've been farming my, my entire life, but I've been farming on my own now for 30 years. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, somewhere around 30 years. And, uh. You know, it, it, there'd been times when it's just been a small plot or something, you know. But pretty much 30 years, I've been doing it in earnest, you know, at a, probably too large a scale than I can handle, to be honest with you, for 10 or 15 now. And, uh, you know, that's, that's just part of it. Uh, I'm not running all new equipment. Uh, I have one, well... I have one tractor that I bought new. That's the John Deere 5205. And uh, the mowing machine is the only other new piece of equipment I've got. I've purchased, I think. Yeah, I think it's the mowing machine. But, uh, yeah. You know, we we run used equipment. Uh, I'm a former diesel mechanic. Uh, I did that for extended period of my life and you know I I can work on stuff if it needs a little work uh, don't really show a lot of that um, but I, I can I have that capability that's part of one of the reasons we do with our equipment purchases but you know just something to think about I was thinking about that day and I thought you know there's see a lot of mistakes and uh, hopefully you know you can avoid some of them then again, it may just be the ramblings of a crazy guy. Quite possible that's exactly what this video is. But anyhow, if you like what we're doing, want to follow along, see some more crazy ramblings, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit that little bell for notification. See a video you like, comment, whatever, ask a question, please do so. And until next time, y'all be careful out there. And we'll talk to you later.